Hickman have had victory of the season rolling off from the pole alongside the beautiful yellow and blue number 25 machine of Mr. Scotty Roberts. Row number two, the 33 of Steven Muhlenberg, the 11P of Kurt Potter. Row number three, the L75, Eddie Whitney, and the 21 of Meadow. Well, race fans, give them a holler this time on the front stretch. We are going racing next time. Turn number four. Well, the beautiful WK family pace trunk will lead the field by. Once again, looking for... Green flag this next trip off of turn number four. Well, looking to get it on turn number four. Oh, uh, Roberts laying back just a bit. No go, no go. Well, the field reset once again. Striegel and Roberts looking for the green. Well, just about too close to call the flag stand. I'd say it was Striegel by a thousandth of a second over Roberts. Well, it's Roberts taking it upstairs. Turn number four. Mike Striegel and Muhlenberg. And it's Scotty Roberts able to make a move on Striegel to take command of tonight's main event here with 17 to go. <laughs> well, trouble. Eddie Whitney off the pace, turn number two. Well, Whitney trying to clear the speedway here on the back stretch, and Whitney able to get out of harm's way will stay clean and green. What is Scotty Roberts, Mike Striegel, and the 33 of Muhlenberg, followed by Meta and Potter. And trouble turn two, turn two. Well, some debris on the speedway. Word is the drive shaft out of the 25 machine of Roberts. That will end his run. Tough, tough break. Roberts had that machine hooked up in Holland Hattie here tonight. Not to be with a disabled race car here. Turn number two. Well, with six laps in the books, 14 remain. We are ready to get back at it with Mike Striegel in charge. Well, it is Muhlenberg and Menall now door-to-door -door in row number two, followed by the 11P of Kurt Potter.
Well, it's the 21 of Meadow making a big move down in turns three and four. Now showing the way. It's going to be Meadow Striegel and Muhlenberg. Your top three drivers still close. Quarter racing over in turns three and four. Halfway there, 10 complete, 10 to go. Well, Muhlenberg able to race his way into the runner on position. Now, Kurt Potter putting the pressure on Striegel for the number three position. Well, only five to go. Still a great battle for the third spot. It's Potter working the low side of Mike Striegel. Still Striegel at the flag stand. Two to go, given to the 21 of Menal. Great battle for third. Who is it going to be this time at the flag stand? Potter working the low side of the speedway. Mike Striegel all the way out in the cushion. It is Striegel by the narrowest of margins holding the 11 of Potter at bay. While that white flag flying high for Menal with only one to go. Clearly, Kurt Potter into the third spot, turn number four. And uh, parking it in victory lane, it is the 21 of Flying Ryan Manow picking up tonight's Lodge at Port Arrowhead feature victory. Second goes out to the 33, Steven Muhlenberg, third, the 11P of Kurt Potter, and the 17 of Michael Striegel rounding out your top four. Well, for the umpteenth time this season, the 21 of Meadow perks it in Lake Ozark Speedway Victory Lane. Well, the 33 of Muhlenberg grabs the runner up position. Great battle for third. Give it to the 11P of Kurt Potter, followed by the 17 of Mike Striegel. Well, tough, tough break. Scotty Roberts had it all going his way early in the main event, not to be. Sideline with mechanical issues. Let him hear your race, fans. Ryan Meadow. Wow. Lunge at Port Arrowhead Monofed feature winner. There you go. That was a good one. He started way back in the back and got all the way to the front. Can't beat that. I don't know how many that is in a row, but he has won some races here this year.
Everybody give this boy a round of applause. The driver number 21, Ryan Middle. Ryan, I know you weren't the happiest camper after your heat race, but uh, you know what? You took it back with a vengeance. What do you think? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I just got in that grease down there a little bit in that heat race and stalled motor out trying to keep it out of that guy. And then, um, and then uh, the next lap there, I got by him and he, he just, uh, he took me out. Um, and, um, you know, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just worn out. Um, you get a little tired? You get tired driving this thing? Yeah, it is what it is. You know, we had to start at the back there, and um, I wasn't very happy with my car there. It wasn't very good. Um, but I think a lot of it was I was getting down in that grease on that bottom, and I um, I was lucky there. I got a restart, and it stuck through the center down there and was able to get by Mike and then just hammer that cushion. And um, the racetrack was pretty good. Um, you know, we could run around that top, and um, just uh, hats off to my guys. Um, there wasn't very many cars, you know, but the cars that were here were tough, and um, appreciate everybody coming out. Um, Hopefully we can get the rest of the, the night in. All right, everybody, give me one more time, Mr. Ryan Middall. Well, once again, put your hands together. Defending track champ looks poised to uh, double down on him here to Lake Ozark Speedway as Metal continues his domination of your USRA A modified action. Well, you're